So what would happen, let's say from time to time when you run ads, right? One day you come in and you realize that, ah, my ads manager got disabled. What am I supposed to do? When your ads manager got disabled, all you need to do is to go in and look for the information that they are providing to you. So go in and look for, you know, see restrictions. That should be something like that. Go in and see restrictions and you'll be able to actually see what is really happening. And usually when you try to see restrictions, there will be a bar on top to ask you for uh, so-called the identity confirmation. In fact, most of the time when Facebook triggers some ads disabling issue to a lot of Facebook advertisers, is really coming in and wanting to get you to verify yourself as the real person behind the screen. So when you do that, so basically all you need to do is you just click on the button and you'll be able to go in and you submit your identity, you know, whatever ID, whether you're using your national identity card or you're using your driving license or you're using your passport. So you go in and use that, take a picture, submit it. Usually within few days, I, you know, so far my experience is usually within 48 hours or lesser, you will get the identity confirmation done. However, what Thailand is facing here is you are having confirmation fail. Now, when you have confirmation fail, I think Thailand did the right thing that you can actually contact Facebook. You'll be able to raise some ticket and ask their questions and all that. Usually they will request for another so-called identity. So sometimes this is what happened. When you submit a, a, a document, let's say your national identity card, um, maybe for some reason, maybe like for example, previously, I think somebody from Egypt tell, told us um, because of the language issue, Facebook do not understand. So in that case, all you need to do is you submit another document because we have so many identification, right? Like we have, you know, the identity card, we have the driving license, we even have passport. So you pick one that has usually the fallback you would be using passport because passport is usually in English because it's international thing, right? So you use that, submit again, usually you'll get it through. So this will be something that we will not be able to help you. You have to go through the whole process with them. And then basically once it's done, now the key here is once your identity confirmation is done, okay, you will not get your ads manager back. You know why? Because... Once the identity confirmation is done, then you have to go in again into the C details and request for a review to lift your so-called your Facebook ads account uh, ban. So these are two things. Getting the identity fixed doesn't mean that you'll get your ad account back automatically. Once it's identity fixed, then the next thing is you have to go in and request for review again for your ads manager to come back to you.